So I've already weighed the bag on its own. It weighed 10 grams. And now we're going to weigh the sand and subtract the bag from the sand. Eighteen sixty-eight. So I subtract the ten grams from the bag and sand weight to come up with eighteen fifty-eight grams. Okay, so now I'm going to set this up. I am going to put this board over the scale. And we want this to read zero when I put this on here. Zero. So it is not touching the scale, it's slightly above it. And then we're going to take the PVC pipe, line it up with this hole, and since that inside hole is slightly larger than the PVC pipe, there is no ridge at the bottom. This goes straight down to the scale. So the next step is to pour this bag of sand into this tube. Fill this tube up with that sand. And we know how much the sand weighs. And we're going to see how much of difference we get on the scale here. Uh, in sand, there's something called force chains. And they are going to transfer weight to this PVC pipe instead of going straight down to the scale. We're going to see what that difference is. Okay, so as you can see, the sand is in the tube. That sand that weighs 1858 now weighs 424. Yet this is completely hollow all the way down to the scale. So the wall of that is holding a lot of weight. Okay, so here are the findings. The sand that started out weighing 800 or 1,858 weighs 424 in the tube, a difference of 1,434, and the tube is holding 78% of the sand's weight. 78% of the weight of this sand in here through force chains is being diverted to the wall of this tube and into this board instead of straight down.